Hi, I'm Shoshana Lippman. I am a Magida, a female Jewish storyteller, the first one ordained in Canada. And uh, I'm also a member of Storytellers of Canada, Conte du Canada, and the Victoria Storytellers Guild. And although you may have heard me as a children's storyteller, I also love to tell stories to adults. And that's the story I'm about to tell you now. Now, even though it's mainly for adults, I did tell this story once at a fundraiser for a Somalian family that wanted to reunite here in Canada. And I told the story and there was an eight year old who listened real closely. And she listened to this song that I'm gonna teach you shortly. And she took that song with her when she went with her family to a mosque here in Victoria. They were outside the mosque and standing in solidarity. They weren't Muslim, but they were standing in solidarity with Muslim people who have been attacked and hurt and even killed just because of who they are. And so I couldn't go because it was a Friday afternoon and I'm a Jewish storyteller that keeps Shabbat. And so I was busy getting ready for Shabbat, but this young girl went with this, with this song and sang it so I felt as if I was there. Now this song that I'm gonna teach you, it's romantic to go with the story, which is a romantic story of lost love and longing, but it's also universal because it uh, expresses a feeling that I think is common to all of humanity. In Judaism, we call this longing, a longing for Moshiach, for the Messianic age, when everybody's gonna live in peace. It won't matter what the color of your skin, it won't matter what kind of beliefs you hold in your heart, we're all gonna learn to live together in peace and justice. And not just for us humans, this is gonna be for all species, for our whole planet to learn to live in a sustainable, kind, nurturing way. And we don't know when that time is gonna happen. Could be tomorrow, could be in a hundred years, could be a thousand years, could be in the next minute. So we gotta live our lives as if it's coming. And we don't know if this good act we're doing, something we do with our whole heart, could bring it on, who knows? So this song inhabits all that. And the symbol for Moshiach uh, that I'm aware of, a traditional symbol, is the butterfly, which goes through that period of chrysalis, right? It's been a, it's been a caterpillar eating leaves, then it goes, turns into mush inside the chrysalis, and then it emerges this beautiful butterfly. It's a beautiful symbol of transformation. But in the song, I'm gonna use uh, a more modern symbol for peace, which is the dove made famous by uh, the wonderful painter Pablo Picasso, who grew up in a little town called Malaga in Spain that had lots of doves in it. So it's a very peaceful image for him and for all of us. So the story I'm gonna tell you that goes with this, uh, I'm actually gonna dedicate it. It's got this long preamble here. It's a very short story. I'm dedicating the story to storytellers of Canada, Conteur du Canada, and our local storytellers guild members of whom work very hard, especially the Nanaimo uh, Guild, work very hard um, to put together a conference. We have a conference every year somewhere in Canada. This year it was in Parksville, but it didn't happen because it was in May. And as you know, everything got canceled in May. So I want to dedicate the storytelling now to all those hardworking volunteers because I learned this story at one of those conferences. It was two years ago in uh, Peterborough, Ontario at Trent University, and I learned it from Ruth Danziger. Ruth Danziger is a wonderful human being and a great storyteller, and she's also one of the founders of the Mother Goose Movement. It's a, it's a, a group that they're meeting all over Canada, I, maybe the world, I don't know, but I've been to one here in my city, and Ruth started them in Toronto. And what happens is moms and dads will come in with their little babies and they'll sing to them. They'll learn beautiful rhymes and songs to sing to their babies. And I go in sometimes to the one here and tell stories, usually for children, but sometimes for adult adults. And Ruth often tells stories for adults. It's sort of mom and dad time. The kids can just play with the toys that are around and then the parents get to hear a wonderful story. And Ruth does something even better. She collected stories from the parents because in Toronto, these parents are coming from all over the world. And she put that 
all those stories into a collection called I Bring You a Story, Folk Tales That Have Traveled. And this particular story that I want to tell you very soon, it's called The Girl by the Bay, and it's by Felice Kidier of Somalia. And Felice says everyone knows this story in Somalia. She heard it from her own grandma, and there's a song in it. Everyone knows the song. And Felice says that she loves to sing because even when life is not going the way she wants, and you can imagine as a new immigrant to Canada, she's faced some difficult times and back in Somalia as well. So what she does is she sings. And even then, even if life is hard, it still it makes it better. She feels happier when she sings. So my goal now is to get you to sing. So I hope you will. You're maybe you're alone in your house or even if you're not, you can just, you know, sing along. No, no one else except in your environment is going to hear you. I'm not going to hear you. You're just going to be singing with me and I'm going to show you how the notes go. And we will practice this. And then in the story, you'll be like the soundtrack. You'll be able to sing with me for this story. So here we go. Please return to me, turn to me, love. You try that. Please return to me, turn to me, love. Beautiful. And then we go. Fly to me, fly on the wings of a dove. Your turn. Fly to me, fly on the wings of a dove. Let's put that whole verse together. Please return to me, turn to me, love. Fly to me, fly on the wings of a dove. All right, now let's do the next verse. Same words, slightly different tune. The first part's exactly the same. Please return to me, turn to me, love. Fly to me, fly. So let's try that together. Please return to me, turn to me, love. Fly to me, fly. And this next part is different on the wings of a dove on the wings of a dove let's put that second part all together please return to me turn to me love fly to me fly on the wings of a dove you got it let's do the whole thing just to make it real i'm giving this to you so here we go use it well Please return to me, turn to me, love. Fly to me, fly on the wings of a dove. Please return to me, turn to me, love. Fly to me, fly on the wings of a dove. You got it. All right, here we go. The Girl by the Bay by Felice Kidier. There once was a young couple who fell in love, as young couples will do, and they wanted to get married. But here's the catch. They had absolutely no money with which to build a life together. So they came up with a plan. The young man would get in a boat and he would cross the great river Juba, where he'd get to an island where he could get a job, earn some money, and when he earned enough money, he'd come back and they would get married. Famous last words. Off he goes. Cross that river and his young lover, she came down to that bay to see him off. And then she came back every single day. She came there day after day after day after day after. Mm -hmm. And he did not come back. But she continued to go down to that bay to wait for him because the view of the opposite shore, it, it gave her hope. And, and the sound of the water lapping at the shores at her feet, well, it brought her comfort. And pretty soon it was suggesting a melody. And then there were these words. And, and she began to sing it. And you already know it. Here we go. Let's sing. 
Please return to me, turn to me, love. Fly to me, fly on the wings of a dove. Please return to me, turn to me, love. Fly to me, fly on the wings of a dove. Well, there were people walking by that bay every day, and they saw that woman. And they heard that she was singing, but they didn't stop and listen because, you know, they had things to do. And uh, I don't know, maybe they were social distancing. They didn't want to get too close. And it could be, you know, that she was crazy because really it was clear this guy was not coming back. So why didn't she just move on with her life already? You know, get on with it. But there was someone who did come down to that bay and listen to that young woman with all his heart. It was an old crocodile who came down to the edge of the water and stayed there real quiet, the way only a crocodile can do. And he listened with all his heart and he learned that song. He loved it so much that eventually he started humming along. So now we're going to sing this song as a niggin, a wordless tune. Here we go. crocodile he wanted to cross the river too you know see what was on the other side so he swam across that river and he gets to the other side pulls himself up and he's sunning him himself on a log feeling real good and then he realizes ah, he misses that young woman with her beautiful song and so what can he do he has to sing it too out loud with enthusiasm, just the way she did, except uh, we're gonna do it now, crocodile style. Here we go. Give it all you got. Please return to me, turn to me, love. Fly to me, fly on the wings of a dove. Please return to me, turn to me, love. Fly to me, fly on the wings of a dove. And as he's singing, who should walk by but that young man? And he hears this beautiful music and it just catches his attention. He has to stop and listen. And then oh, he realizes it's coming from a crocodile, but he can't leave. He's transfixed. And soon he's transformed because that, that song reminds him of his long lost love. And he realizes oh, he stayed away too long. And so he got in a boat and he crossed that river back to his love. She was waiting for him. She forgave him, would you? Now she was pretty amazing. So they embraced, they fell in love all over again. And they got married and everyone who had seen that woman down by the shore, they were so happy that she was happy because now she's not gonna sing that song anymore, thank goodness. But had they ever like stopped to really listen to this song? And had they ever tried to help her? Not a chance. It took a creature who wasn't even human, that old crocodile who listened to that story with all his heart, he learned it, and he took it across the river so that she could be happy again. Here we go one last time. Please return to me, turn to me, love. Fly to me, fly on the wings of a dove. Please return to me, turn to me, love. Fly to me, fly on the wings of a dove. Thank you. And before I sign out, those of you who have listened this long, uh, I owe an apology to the people of Somalia because that's not the song in Eritrean that they usually sing. 
This is a song that I have created because I don't speak Eritrean and I needed it to be short so I could give it to you. So please guard it well. Thank you. <laughs>